Well, Kirby, we're here with El Presidente. We Jim are. Macy, we are. Special Olympics Alaska. What a pleasure. Definitely a little pressure right here in the beautiful Sheraton Hotel. Mm. Jim had a couple of minutes to talk with us before, you know, he heads off back to do what presidents do, which is run <laughs> amazing organization that is Special Olympics Alaska, sir. We're, we're so excited to get back home because uh, we get get home on Sunday morning and then uh, greet our athletes on Monday. They come in around 1 o'clock at... Uh, at Ted Stevens International Airport, and uh, we're going to give them a warm welcoming home. And after that, I think uh, we get everyone home and um, we get ready for the next games. Okay. We want to put it out there. If you want to come down, Ted Stevens International Airport, welcome the athletes home. You sit around 1 o'clock on Monday afternoon? Yeah, I get there like 12.45. Right. Um, they're on the direct flight from Alaska Airlines. Thank you, Alaska Airlines, for flying our guys uh, without any cost. It was wow. a huge help, and my gosh, you know, Everyone who, who came together to support our athletes, Fox, ABC, everybody, and it, it, you guys, you guys are awesome, truly awesome. Scott Center and Dave, uh, uh, shouts out to all you guys for making this all happen because it really is all about all the athletes that make. It's about all Alaskans that make this all happen, as you know. And let's talk about this this entire week. I mean, you know, guys are really stepping up, you know, and did their thing. Let's, let's talk about how your athletes did so far um, this week in competition. You know, let's start off with Brittany, right? Coach Lindsay Knight from Kodiak took her to a new level, right? 130-pound or 140-pound <laughs> young girl, bench press and deadlift, some of her personal best. And then you go to CJ, right? who just came, to literally came out of the water, flying out of the water. Like a fish. Just fish. Like one of those salmon. Unbelievable, right? Like just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then Christine, the smile on her face. The smile on her face. And then, you know, Garrett. No, Garrett, man. personal best. Shooting 100 degree weather, 77. Scratch, 78, 78. And I think the other one was in an 80, right? And so, I just had the opportunity. What a, what a great place to be right in LA, these games, City of Angels. Um, all the things they talked about happened beyond expectation. But I think more important was, had the opportunity to speak to every one of the athletes and say, okay, now what's next? How do we pay forward? How do we pay Alaska for it? How do we get more athletes? How do we drive this mission in the great state of Alaska to the next level? And, and, and you guys have helped us tremendously with the awareness. I'm hearing that, um, People are calling us to sign up new athletes. Some sponsors wow. are calling us. And it's just all about Alaskans working together. We just make our state a better place. And it, it shows around the country and the world. One love, one world. And it was really on display here at the World Games. Did you get to hook up with any delegations that you were hoping to? Like from, uh, we, we talked to Pakistan. That was pretty cool. I mean, uh, it just, it's really neat to see all the love here in L.A. this week. Uh, you know, talking to Norwegians and Afghanistan and... Italy and France and Jordan and Germany. Wow. Oh my gosh! And Australia, eh? <laughs> they were here in the hotel, cheering every day. And then, and then of course, even our own Arizona, Connecticut, New York, even our own guys. I mean, there's not a better place in the world. I just had the fortune to be involved since 1979, and I, I can't even remember. It's like my tenth World Games or whatever. Wow. And everyone just seemed to get bigger and better, and our guys get bigger and stronger faster and quicker. I don't know if you're at track, but I saw some guys running the 200 meter like in about uh -oh. 23 seconds, 24 seconds. Well, it's amazing to see some of those, like Jamal Charles was a special exactly. Olympic athlete. He goes on to be an all pro running back in the NFL. So you never know what's gonna happen. You never know. And I'm gonna tell you, to all Alaskans, to all Alaskans, CJ, Christine, Garrett, and uh, Brittany, thank all of you from the bottom of their hearts, their family, the support that we have, all of us have given together has truly changed their lives and the lives of Alaskans, too. Well, you're a great man, Jim. We appreciate you. Uh, hashtag Reach Up LA. <laughs> hashtag Jim Balamacy. Find this man on Twitter, Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. I don't know where you are, El Presidente. Every social just media find this side. Man. Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag. Just, just sit between these two guys and the world will be a better place, too, man. There you go. All right, AKSN rolls on. Thank you, Jim. Have a safe flight home. We'll see you Monday, my friend. We'll see you after the break. <laughs>